Okay, good day everyone. Uh, this is Jason, the lecturer of GIS International Training College, and uh, uh, I'm glad to be here to share my knowledge about uh, uh, GIS Pass exploration of new smart city construction. My presentation is divided into four parts. In the first part, I will discuss the change and unchange of smart city. Mm, based on our uh, project experience, then based on the finding of the first part, I will explain our solution to face the situation of new smart city construction. We call it as one platform, multi-grid, and uh, pen scene. <laughs> okay, first, let's take a look at the development of smart city. We always use this curve to show the development change of a new technology or a new concept. From 2008, IBM proposed the smart earth. We think that is the germination stage of smart city. From 2008 to 2011, the smart city became a very hot topic in China. There, then there were 597 smart city pilot projects raised by eight different national ministries and commissions. We think this period is the overheating period of smart city because those kinds of projects were not the real smart city. They are just, we, we, we can understand like they are just digital city because they just connect with some hardware gathering the, inform, uh, gathering the data and uh, show the information and show the application on the client side, such as uh, web-based. But uh, in this kind of project, the data cannot be shared and uh, different departments need to collect the data by themselves. And uh, uh, actually this kind of project don't, didn't help the urban governance or the urban management a lot. Then in 2014, we had a cold thinking of smart city. There are two guidance proposed by the eight ministries and the National Internet Information Office of China they defined the new smart city. And uh, with the uh, development of IT technology, smart city is becoming more and more major. In 2018, we raised the digital twin city. And in, two, uh, in 2020, we proposed the new infrastructure, which will follow the standard of, new, of smart city. So now let's take a look at the change and unchange of smart city construction. The first change in smart city construction is the new challenge of urban governance. We think that 50% is the turning point of urbanization. In China, 49.68% um, is in, uh, in 2010 and uh, around 60% uh, in 2019. At the same time, in the past 10 years, 180 million people entered the city, and the total urban population reached uh, 848 million. It also brings a, uh, it also uh, brings a lot of challenge to the uh, smart city construction, such as the change from urban management to urban governance. The damage of, uh, for fine governance of big city is very urgent, and the focus of urban governance moves down. It moves to the grassroots governance. And about this one, later in the multi-grid, I will also discuss with, with you. The second change is that the government has a more and more profound understanding of smart city put forward more and more specific smart city construction plans and put forward some opini opinions on the establishment of light and space planning system and supervision of implementation. So this is the change about the national policy. And the third change is the development of ICT technology. More and more ICT technology are becoming more and more mature based on these advanced technologies we can simulate the real city in the computer. So we call it digital twin city. That is, we have a, a totally same city in the digital side. So 
whether it is a smart city, a new smart city, or a digital city, there are two internal problems to be solved. They are data sharing and business collaboration. So this is an entrance of smart city. <clears throat> and uh, so how to deal with the change and change? There is one of the of dimension of China side, the people have intelligence because they are the perception ability of time and space. And they can make decisions based on the real situation. Uh, and uh, uh, so if we can let everything have the ability of accurate space, time, positioning, and uh, notification over human being, uh, then we can make all the things have human-like intelligence and the human being will enter an intelligence era. Based on the above change and end change, we propose that GIS paths of new smart city construction. They are the one-stop data sharing, which is one platform, and create collaborate, uh, collaborative governance. It is the multi-grid and the a scenario application, we call it as pencil. So first, my second topic is uh, one platform, which is building a unified data middle platform and uh, building a digital base. So how is the person's uh, current situation? Um, and for naturally, the current situation is various spatial information service platform emerge in endlessly. So how to unify the spatial information sharing service is what we need to think about. So here I need to introduce the concept of data middle platform. The data middle platform in IT technology mentioned the small front end, the big middle platform, and the strong back end. For example, why do our business system often change? Because it changes with the management uh, mechanism. Because management needs to adapt to the status, but we found that there are also a lot of end change in the changing, such as the data, such as the services. So we can put all the end change parts to data middle platform. And the target of data middle platform is how to get the data, how to manage the data, and how to output the data, and how to use the data. <clears throat> so about how to get the data. Uh, first, we need to integrate different types of data, such as the basic geographic data, the natural resource data, the spatial planning data, and uh, we can, based on it, to establish the data processing system and the data acquisition system. So about how to get the data, there is one important ability of middle platform, which is the accurate mapping ability. <clears throat> and the second problem is how to manage the data. Based on it, we need to establish the different in index management system and model management system. So it's rise to new ability of middle platform, which is same perception ability and the cognitive reasoning ability. <clears throat> and how to output the data? That is, we need to provide the data as such as API, as interface, or as a dashboard. So the ability of middle platform need to have the shared service capability. And the last one is how to use the data. Use the data, we can based on the uh, API or based on the interface of data middle platform to develop the solution virtualization or the scene virtualization. So the output, the data, and user data, they combine into the unified data sharing service system. <clears throat> and uh, for overall management of the whole data middle platform, the spatial computing cap capability is also very important. And uh, all of these six capability combined into a unified data middle platform. 
And next, I will introduce you the data middle platform from this six capability. The first one is the accurate mapping capability. It is to building a global spatial temporal information database. And it has some functions such as construction ability of urban full space scene data, the business data integration capability based on geographic entities, the fast access ability of emergency serving and mapping data, the fast updating ability of thematic data. So the construction ability of urban full space scene data is for establish the spatial temporal big data system of a whole space integration system, which can contain all the different type of data, such as the integration of historical status, the, the static and the dynamic integration, the integration of T and B, and also 2D and 3D, outdoor and indoor, the underground and underground. <coughs> and and the business data integration based on the geographic entities, uh, we need to integrate more and more business data with the uh, geographic data, such as the basic serving of building service, we can easily get them. And the real estate buildings, we can also get them. And then we can combine them together to build the solid surface of building. And then we can integrate those data with the business data, such as the place, uh, the the place registered uh, residence population, the enterprise distribution, and uh, the real estate information. So based on those data, we can easily get the uh, comprehensive information from the GIS data, such as the population association, and. Uh, Next is the fast access of emergency serving data. Because uh, over earlier projects, we have a lot of, we call it as digital city. And for those kind of projects, they are very good at to simulate the emergency situation. They are very good at for the demonstration. But when the real emergency coming, the fast access of serving data is a very important capability for the smart city construct, smart city uh, system. So we can achieve, we can based on the UAV data to get the different types of emergency serving data and to access them to the system very quickly, such as the real time, there's no any delay, we can access to the live real time screen playback and uh, for the image and uh, DOM data, for this kind of data, we can based, uh, we can access them to the uh, to the system in minutes level or in over level. And uh, based on the UAV, we also can generate the oblique photogram uh, photography module, which can be integrated with the system in a uh, over level. So this kind of technology can enhance the performance, the speed of fast access of emergency serving data. And uh, also we need to establish the platform or the system to do the crowdsourcing mapping. It is for the fast collection and the service of thematic data, such as, uh, when we want to collect the information of population or collect the information of the uh, degrees level of people. So we need to, we can based on the platform to achieve the functions such as task release, the task collection, the information acquisition, the database entry audit, the comprehensive evolution and the data release. That is based on the platform it can divide the test into multiple, multiple user or worker, and they can based on their uh, web, web system or their mobile system to go to onset to collect the semantic data directly and upload to the cloud directly. <coughs> the next ability is the physical scene perception ability. The 
ability of physical scene perception is also very important in the progress of smart city construction. From the spatial temporal data aggregation, data entity to the index instruction, and then we can get the urban science. From this process, we can construct the comprehensive urban situation system. Here are some of the example of city uh, awareness that uh, we have built before, uh, where we have put a variety of different uh, data, uh, different types of diagram. It is very convenient for the boards or the managers to get the comprehensive information at any time in one dashboard. And next capability is the cognitive reasoning capability. It is based on the construction of index database. From the basic database data, such as the population, the people, the housing, the green space, the kindergarten, we can generate, we can get the index database. And the index database is to uh, statistic the basic data, and we can get the index data, such as the population density, the number of kindergartens, the green space per uh, capita. And uh, based on the index data, we can uh, summarize them as knowledge-based knowledge -based data, uh, database. For example, the construction area of kindergarten is more than uh, 550 square meters. And uh, the 15 minutes work rate of green space is more than 90%. And uh, uh, such as the underground structure should be avoided in site selection of gas station. And uh, based on the knowledge that the final goal of uh, uh, cognitive reasoning is to establish the model base. The model base suggests the kindergarten element allocation model, the compliance analysis model, the gas station location model. So the smart city project is based on a lot of different model base. It can help us to uh, do the decision, to make the decision. And this is a case of actuary planning, the allocation of public service facilities. <clears throat> and AI also can be helpful in the urban management, but uh, the AI is only in the beginning stage. For example, we can compare with the 3D model of real scene in different periods, and then we, based on the AI, we can find the new building. And we can overlay the new building with the land and certification information to judge the illegal buildings. So based on the AI and oblique photogrammetry data, we can easily find the illegal buildings. And uh, uh, next is the uh, shared service capability. For the shared service capability, we mainly provide the full, we mainly provide full service modes to meet the needs of different users, such as the portal access mode, the system customization mode, the online API mode and uh, data studio mode. And the uh, next capability is simulation capability. It provides the dynamic and uh, uh, realistic urban whole process simulation, and it can be divided into current situation simulation and the simulation of the scheme. So just for the current situation scene simulation, we can integrate the uh, underground data such as the pipeline, the main road uh, deposits, the ground surface, such as the water, the beach, uh, such as the underground data, like building, mountain, the grass lines, such as this is the underground data. The ground, de the ground surface, we can overlay it with uh, terrain, and on the ground data, we can, build, we can sh simulate the real building in the system and also even inside of the system, inside of the building. And besides of simulate the real world, we can also simulate the scheme, such as uh, we, we can 
we can develop one application for the urban planning and uh, we can put different plan of building construction at the same time and to uh, compare them uh, together to get a more clear idea. And also it can be based on some 3D analysis, such as visibility analysis, the 3D volume space analysis, the slope aspect analysis, and uh, a lot of others to, based on the 3D analysis, to judge this scheme is reasoning, reason, reasoning or not. And uh, the spatial computing capability is the base to construct the data middle platform. It is an efficient and uh, a uh, reliable spatial temporal data computing system. Uh, we already, what we can have, we already have more than 100 spatial analysis operator and uh, have more than 60 distributed spatial analysis based on the Spark technology. And talking about the Spark technology, the space time big data, classic data two view drives the computing system. The big data can be divided into two types. The spatial temporal big data computing, which is more suitable or more near with the real big data in the IT technology. And another one is the classic data computing. Maybe it cannot be called, be named as the big data. It, it, it should be named as the huge data because it has no the factor of big data, but the data volume is very big. Um, and most of the GIS data can be recognized as the big data or the huge data, and it is suitable to use the distributed computing capability such as the spatial computing, distributed computing for the classic data. And if we use the traditional way, it needs to uh, cost uh, around uh, 300 minutes. But if we based on the Spark Big Data Computing mode, it will only use 12 minutes for one same task. And uh, Sorry, yes? You still have four or five minutes. Thank you very much. OK. Uh, and uh, next is the uh, location big data, such as this is one case about uh, Chongqing taxi, and uh, uh, the data volume is also very big. Uh, because of the time, I will go through the, uh, the next uh, content uh, quickly. And uh, as a summary, the one middle platform has mainly six capabilities. They are accurate mapping ability, the sign perception ability, cognitive reasoning ability, shared service capability, simulation capability, and the spatial computing capability. Okay, now uh, we go to the next topic, which is the multi-grid, uh, and it is for build a business collaboration system. The grid management is a kind of administrative management reform. Uh, relying on the unified urban management and uh, digital platform, the urban management area is divided into unit grids according to certain standards. By strengthening the inspection of components and uh, events of the cell grid, a separation form of supervision and disposal is established. It can be used uh, in different areas, such as land space planning, the public security management, the population sensors, the economic sensors, and so on. Based on the middle platform, we integrated different grids, such as urban management grid, comprehensive management grid to a uh, urban brain. It has two parts, urban management system and uh, urban service system. Therefore, we put forward the framework of one plus three plus n for grassroots governance. They are the one center, and we can uh, understand this one center is a data middle platform. And three platforms, they are OA office platform for government affairs, the event governance platform, and uh, virtual analysis platform. 
and n an application is based on these three platforms we can establish, we can develop a lot of different applications. So next, I will introduce you a few of uh, some cases of those applications. <coughs> the, uh, the, the most uh, uh, important point is GraphQL data center. The GraphQL worker has a lot of system need to be operated, such as public security system, comprehensive management system, uh, civil administration system, party building system. We found that it is too, there is too much work to connect all systems through the interface, and uh, the worker has a huge workload to input the same information into different systems. And also, it is impossible to push all, them, all of them over again, so we proposed a keyboard robot. Data can be input once and shared many times. In addition, the data center can provide data support for the grad students, such as housing data, population data, abnormal rental housing data, and abnormal data of service population. Then the grad student worker can check the data on site according to this data provided by the data middle platform and then feedback the data to the data middle platform. <clears throat> and the whole mobile urban management system enable leaders to supervise and uh, check the problems of urban management and uh, personal work through mobile phones so that great members can report problems and professional departments to deal with problems more timely. Seats can work more conveniently and law enforcement member can enforce the law more regularly. All terminals are integrated together and the application is carried out through uh, hydro, uh, through uh, hydro uh, uh, through the uh, hydro uh, decentralization. Uh, sorry, suddenly I, I don't know how to pronounce these words. <coughs> and uh, the urban citizen can also participate in the urban management. We have set up the rich portals for citizens to provide opinions, reports, and other systems. Yeah, and uh, uh, this is a case of GraphQL's command and the dispatch system and the GraphQL's data dashboard. Then uh, we are going to the next, the last topic, which is a pen scene. It is expanding the application scope and the depth of smart city. Actually, uh, in my above contents, I already introduced a lot of applications. And in this topic, I will just go through them briefly. Mm -hmm. You still have two minutes, Jason. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, there are three application scenarios from macro to micro. Uh, we divided them into the city level, which is, is enabling urban planning and design and enabling the smart park and, uh, and station. This is the second level. And the third level is into the building. For the uh, urban planning, JS can integrate with the big data to enable the land spatial planning. And uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, scientific analysis and uh, evaluation uh, auxiliary planning based to help us to make the dis decision in the urban governance. And uh, some uh, cases like uh, more objective monitoring and analysis uh, accelerate planning evaluation and urban physical examination can be achieved. And the second level is on the park, smart, we, call it, we can call it as smart park or smart station. It can cover all the process uh, from plan to build to work to maintain and uh, operation. And GIS can integrate with different types of data, such as GIS integrate with the planning information to create a digital business card of the park. And GIS can integrate with the beam design information 
to uh, monitor the status and uh, monitor the cons construction progress of a park and to JS with the daily information to assess the park operation and management. JS also can integrate with the facilities information to access the port or station, fund management and operation. Also, can JS can integrate with the assets information to assist the princess operation of the park and it also can be achieved uh, the digital twin architecture by the integration between GIS with BIM and IoT. And some other uh, application functions, such as facility dynamic management, the business management, the energy management, the alarm management. Okay, uh, as a summary, the new smart city with one platform, multi-grid and pen scene is can cover the progress from plan to construct to management of a city construction. And uh, the last one is there is one uh, prospect which is build a spatial temporal information service ecosystem and build a city think tank. For this one, we need the multiple player, we need different player inside of this ecosystem work together to build a better smart city. All right, this, this is all my presentation. Thank you very much.